Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I am going to show you how you can perform recon for bug bounty. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, before starting into the video, a uh, big thanks for each one of you uh, for giving good reach to my channel. And also guys, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to uh, share some of your doubts or get uh, help in getting queries solved, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, this video is going to be a bit uh, bigger or longer because the tools that I'm going to show and stuff takes a, take some time. So this video is not going to be a one part. So it will be in several parts. So each video will be uh, below the length of 15 minutes only. Okay. So, so it will be convenient for the viewer to watch as well. So guys, uh, if you had followed my one of my video, uh, so where I had, uh, where I had shown this particular thing, like basic recon on websites or the web servers. So where I had of showcased some few, uh, tools and stuff to do some basic recon, like you can consider that like a bit of passive recon. So in this video, this is like a bit longer video. Like I'm going to showcase the tools, everything. So, so if you want, you can watch this video as well. Like I'm not going to, uh, show the detailed uh, usage of every tool. Okay, so what you can do is like I link the uh, link for my videos in the description below so you can check them uh, from there. So now let's start. So I'm going to use my Kali distro here. So I'm using I'm going to use my Kali distro over here. So this is a pretty new one. So I'm going to show each and every process easily for you. So you can follow this on your Kali or on any other machine. You can do it on Ubuntu or any Linux distribution is fine. Windows, I can't say whether it will work or not because you know, antivirus and stuff, right? So let, I'm going to close this thing and let me open my, uh, sublime text. So as we discussed, so this is nothing but a recon. Okay. So recon for bug bounty. So I'm going to share my tools. Okay. So this is not like a guide to follow for like, this is, these are some of my, my methodology in order to do before doing bug bounty. So if you know recon, so recon is like gathering some information. Like if you gather a good amount of information, then the, there is a good possibility to find out the vulnerabilities easily. So the steps that I'm going to show and the tools that I'm going to show are only a limited only like there are thousands of tools available, which does the same purpose. So you can, for, you can check out them as well. So as I told, so first one will be a bit of a, a passive recon. So where you can try to observe some information which is available like a web, not passive recon like basic recon kind of thing because sometimes we'll do some uh, active stuff as well. So we can consider this as basic recon vapalizer. So if you know vapalizer is a like, like an extension to find out uh, what you call the uh, information and uh, and also built with. So I'm not going to show this stuff because I had already made a video on that. So I'll leave, leave you this particular uh, video link in the description below. So this particular video, you can check that out. Okay. So built with, and you can do some who is information. You can look for some uh, data breaches and stuff. Okay. Uh, you can try to find out the emails. Okay. You can try to find out the technologies that are used or anything like that. Okay. You can check out their social media and stuff. Okay. And like that, like that, you can do a lot of information, like some basic information with the help of some tools. And I'll leave the video for that in the description below. So this is the first thing. And even before that, even before that, the best possible thing, like this is not a kind of step to mention for, but it is always a good step to follow. Like, uh, look for how, web, uh, look how the application works or what is the functionality of the application. Okay. Or uh, functionality. Okay. So try to log into the, let's, let's think you're trying to do on some e-commerce website or any website, which is selling some stuff, right? So try to log into them and try to see the functionality, like whether you are able to log in or log out, or I can change some photos or like that, like profile pictures, usernames and everything like that. Okay. And uh, that's the best thing. So like, if you don't know how, uh, what's the functionality of the web, then it is not a good thing uh, to hunt for. 
okay so this is the first thing that i would recommend but most of the time like uh, let us assume that you are working for uh, um, you are trying to find out vulnerabilities amazon then you can skip this particular step like because we all know what amazon does or flipkart or any some websites but if you don't know uh, anything about that website try to do this particular step as well okay so now once we gathered some information so the best uh, possible step you can do here is you can do here is what i basically do is like subdomain hunting so if you don't know subdomains so subdomains are a different concept like uh, like let's take google.com so it is a domain and subdomains is like a concept in which you try to uh, classify the stuff like maps.google.com provides you maps information like geographical information uh, drive.google.com will provide you some inf uh, some uh, functionality of some cloud and stuff so like see these subdomains are used for classification okay of uh, functionality of a domain okay subdomain hunting so this is what i do as i told you you can uh, always choose your own way so like i had already covered the video on this but still i'm going to cover because the thing that i covered there is pretty much small or easy thing so now i'm going to show you some real tools so i i hope you know sublister so this is a tool so we can install this tool easily so so apt uh, install sublister So lister and you can it will get installed there so even the, this is a basic tool you can use for but there are some issues that are being uh, reported okay so if you go for help you can provide a simple domain let's go for uh, uh, google.com right so it is going to be you can see uh, there are some few issues like with virus total and stuff so that's the reason I'm going to skip some few tools and I'm going to uh, release some new tools or I'm going to show uh, show you some new tools which you can use in your process. So it is going to take some time. So let me hit Control C or uh, what we can do is like we can add verbos here. You can see it is trying to do some stuff. Let it do. Okay. And one more best alternative is a CRT.sh. Okay. I covered a video on this thing. So you can simply do something like star dot google.com so star is in the sense like it is like a keyword there or a parameter there like star in the sense there can be anything okay uh, if you know regex then you know you'll definitely know it so if, I, if you see here uh, you can find out some various subdomains of google okay so that is the thing you can do crt.sh but uh, the things that i'm going to show you are uh, will be pretty much interesting for you so the first tool and before installing these tools and stuff you need to have something called as go so go language so go language is a ki different kind of language okay it's a programming language to be frank for and uh, you can see most of the tools that are written uh, are like nowadays most of the tools are uh, written in go some popular tools so you need to install this thing so the thing is pretty simple so let me i'll pause this here okay so installation of gola uh, go is easy in linux so it is like apt install golang so apt is my packet manager and install and golang so if you can hit there it will install your stuff like you don't need to uh, download some files and you can do that that's not a deal big deal there so once it is done you can simply type go and you can search whether uh, you are getting these kinds of uh, options or not if not then the, there is some issue with the installation step so so now let's uh, go with some few tools as i told you as i discussed earlier so the first one will be a uh, uh, sub finder so sub finder is one of the tool that is being maintained by project discovery and uh, you can see it is one of the quite popular company there okay so if you can see i'll i'll explain this in a, in a while so here you can find some installation script here so you can simply copy that and you can paste it there and you can simply hit enter so it will take a, lit, a little bit of time here okay so let it take like it is uh, installing some other stuff as well so let's wait till it completes uh, now we are done so if you do a quick ls here you can find a directory called as go 
and in that go like if i do ls go slash bin so you'll find this executable subfinder executable let's think if you want to run this subfinder what you need to do is uh like dot slash root or you need to go to the directory and you need to run that particular script or the tool so let's do a simple thing so let us move this particular script from go bin uh, this particular file to user and bin the reason i'm doing this is like all the command line tools are available in this particular directory so if you place this particular thing if you place this sub finder in this uh, directory then you don't need to uh, go to any directory there or you don't need to navigate to go slash bin every time okay you can run that from anywhere okay in terminal okay, so let me hit enter it is done so let me show you if you do sub finder and hyphen hyphen help you can run that you can see i haven't gone to any directory or anything like that and uh, we'll do here i'll try to show you uh try to run this particular stuff google.com and what i'm going to do is like so this is for a further purpose only okay like uh, i'm going to append this so t is a kind of uh, editor kind of thing or it is kind of a tool so i'm appending to something called as subdomains hyphen google dot txt okay so let me hit enter there so what it is going to do is like all the subdomains from this particular uh, uh which are listed by this particular tool uh will go and uh add to some append to something called as this particular thing subdomains hyphen google.com so it's done here now you can see all the input is stored there okay you can see all these are subdomains that are listed by this particular uh, tool okay so so like that like like uh, for like for subdomains or uh, to once finding subdomains it's always a best idea to add them to a note or taking a note of those subdomains will be always helpful okay like if you take some big web application there are, there will be a lot of subdomains so the best way is to use these tools like t hyphen a so t is kind of a tool which appends to a file so which in my sense is like a subdomains hyphen text kind of thing okay so this comes to a tool complete with the, now we completed a tool called as sub finder and there is one more tool called as asset finder so it is a, a bit popular tool so it is by tom nom nom if you know him like if you are into this particular cyber security or this pen, uh, domain then you'll definitely understand this stuff so let me copy this thing so this is the installation step like there will be different like you can uh, clone this particular repository and uh, do that but it is an easier way to uh, simply run this command okay me hit enter and let me uh, hit there will be some issues that's the reason i'm going to show you the installation part as well so you need to modify this as install and uh, at end you need to add at the rate latest okay so latest in the sense we are telling the latest version okay so let me hit enter so now we got this particular asset finder tool if you do a quick uh, search in this particular directory you can see there is a tool called as asset finder here so now what we'll do we'll try to move this particular tool or this script from this location to some uh, different location which is user bin okay so mv uh, go bin and to uh, user slash bin let me hit enter now if you do a simple asset finder and if you do hyphen hyphen help then you can see it is going to show you the stuff it is a simple tool as well once again this is a simple tool and also guys that uh, the stuff that i'm going to show you right now are like some basic usage of this tool there are some tons of options like if you choose the sub uh, uh, sub finder tool then it has a lot of options there you can always use any one of them okay but i had shown you an easy thing right so let me provide this google.com and let me append the result okay to uh, my particular list subdomains hyphen google dot txt okay so it is doing some stuff there like it found out some stuff there let it so it found out some few process there or few subdomains there 
now let me uh, show you this particular thing like uh, subdomains.txt you can see you got a lot of stuff there so let me do a simple word count okay so word count hyphen l you can see there are 80,000 81,403 uh, subdomains and and there is a possibility of a duplicate uh, subdomain entries as well so if you consider it it will be around like 60000 of subdomains of google okay and there is one more tool like there are few tools like i'm going to i'm not going to show each and everything but you can check them so the the next one is uh, find domain oh sorry Uh, this is find domain thing so this is uh, a paid version like there is a paid version for this particular tool as well so you can uh, do that okay you can use that but you can always opt for the easy one as well so i'll try to show this particular tool and then uh, we'll try to wind up this video so if you go to the installation part here so let me go there So if you click, if you go to the installation part, you can click on your uh, platform as we are on Linux. So we'll do that. So let me uh, copy this particular URL. So I'm going to W get this particular thing. No need. Uh, sorry, that is for Arc Linux. I'm really sorry for that. So this is for Linux. So let me copy this thing. And I'm going to paste that. Okay, I'm going to paste that. And uh, now we can see. It's a big file, like I think so 10 MB, 20 MB of file, I think so. If you can see, if you do an LS, you can find a tool, find domain hyphen Linux. So let us give some executable rights for that. And uh, now you can see the stuff there. So find domain, so dot slash, the reason why I'm using dot slash is, since it is not in the user bin, you, you should provide in order to run some scripts or tools, you need to provide dot slash. But if it is in the user bin, then you don't need to have uh, to provide this particular uh, parameter there and hyphen hyphen help once again let me do that so here i'm going to show the basic thing we need to specify we'll specify the target here okay so hyphen t for target uh, google.com and i'm going to append that okay so subdomains hyphen google.txt you can see it is trying to search in some various databases like crt.sh the reason that i haven't covered this particular thing is there is some different tools for crt.sh as well but it is these tools will automatically do all those stuff okay but if you opt for paid version you will have some other options as well okay so let's wait uh, till this particular thing is done it took a lot of while and it tried to find out some different uh, subdomains and now if you uh, do the cat okay so i'm not going to print that on my screen because it is going to lag my whole machine so i'm going to do word count and okay, now we have fourteen thousand entries so in the next part of this video or on the next part of this series i'll show you how you can uh, make those things work okay like how you can make these particular subdomains uh, in order to identify whether those particular domains are active or not or what is the particular version that is being used so that's it guys for this video i'm not going to make this video any bit longer so if you want to see more content like this uh, stay subscribed and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified and if you uh, like this content so make sure to share with your friends who are interested in this stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you